So here we are in the um, CPU emulator and um, we would like to demonstrate running a Pong game in the CPU emulator. So we go ahead and uh, load uh, the Pong program. So let us go to um, projects and within projects we go to uh, project 6 and we see that we have a folder called Pong. Open it. And we see that, as usual, in this uh, project, we have uh, two versions of the same program named Pong.asm and Pong less symbols.asm. Now, in the CPU emulator level, it doesn't really matter if you load into it uh, a program with or without symbols, because the CPU emulator is going to resolve the symbols into physical addresses on the fly. Uh, in other words, the CPU emulator has a built-in assembler uh, in it. And when you load a symbolic program into the ROM, which, by the way, is something that you cannot really do, we can do it only because it's an, it's an emulator. Uh, so once again, it, it translates everything into binary code. And uh, uh, to prove it, let, let us do that. Let's let's uh, you know. Let's select uh, this version of the program and uh, load it into the ROM. And I see that uh, I get a symbolic program, but uh, I, 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 there are no symbolic labels in it. All the symbolic labels, like you know, this is probably has been at R zero, and it was translated into uh, at uh, three. So. Um, and once again, this is just uh, you know for illustration purposes because in reality, uh, the program looks. Uh, uh, excuse me, I think I have to do it here. Yeah, in reality, the program looks like this, but then obviously it's very difficult to uh, to follow it. So, in the simulator level, uh, we allow looking at the program both uh, symbolically as well as uh, uh, numerically. All right, so this is a program that implements a simple Pong game, and it's quite a huge program. If you uh, scroll you know, downstream, you will see that this program is, uh, lo and behold, it is something like, uh, let's see, uh, something like 27,000 lines of code, which is a lot, right? But uh, it's a little bit um, uh, deceiving because the program itself, the, the Pong logic, the logic of the Pong game, is, is much shorter. It's only maybe, I don't exactly remember, something like 200 lines of high-level language uh, code. But by the time you translate this code into uh, binary code, uh, and now I'm talking about the compiler, you know, translating from uh, a high-level language into assembly. Then you get, you know, many more lines of code, but still you don't get so many lines of code. The reason we have so much code here is because what you see here is not only an implementation of the Pong game, but also an, an implementation of the entire operating system that enables us to control the screen, the keyboard, and uh, uh, mathematics operations, and numerous other things that are needed when you implement uh, and run high-level language uh, uh, programs. So once again, just to summarize, uh, it's important to note that uh, the code that we see here was originally written in uh, the Jack high-level language. And then it was translated by uh, a Jack compiler into, uh, eventually into uh, uh, the code that you see here. So this code was not written by a human being, it was written by a compiler. And of course, this whole business of writing high-level programs, uh, writing compilers and operating systems and so on, are not covered in Nanto Tetris Part 1, but rather they are covered in Nanto Tetris Part 2. And uh, yet, when you write an assembler, all this information is completely irrelevant. You know what you have is a file that consists of numerous uh, uh, lines of uh, symbolic code, and you simply have to translate it into binary code. 
All right. So um, having said all that, let us uh, try to run the program. So I click the um, uh, fast forward, so to speak. And there seems to be a lot of uh, action uh, going on, but uh, nothing appears on the screen. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed because I expected to play a Pong game, and instead I see um, something that looks like a program executing, but uh, once again, nothing is really happening. And indeed, you have to realize that uh, what is happening here is the execution of a lot of setup code. Uh, the operating system is initializing all sorts of data structures and uh, uh, all sorts of drivers are loaded and, and so on and so forth. And it will take a while before uh, the programmer's code uh, proper will actually uh, start running. So if we lose our patience, as I'm sure that every one of you uh, has done already, we can stop this uh, 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 processing. We can, you know, rewind everything if we want, and uh, we can tell the uh, emulator that we don't want to see the program flow, and we do it by clicking this uh, control here, the no animation. Now, what we mean here is no uh, code or execution animation. So let's uh, uh, do this, and then run the program again, and hopefully we'll we'll get to see some pong action. All right. And uh, hallelujah, there's a Pong game uh, going on. That's quite amazing. Okay, so I'm playing Pong now. I'm not very good at it. Oh, dear. And, uh, you know, let me try another game. All right. Uh, maybe I'll make some improvement now. Uh, wait, I have to, to do this. Okay. Uh, playing Pong. Let's see if I'm any better than before. Uh, oh, hallelujah, I got a score of two, three. That's my uh, world record so far. And four, very impressive. And uh, game over. So what you saw here is a Pong game uh, in progress. I'm always excited to see uh, uh, programs like this uh, working uh, on the hack computer because you know this is a program that was written by us in Jack. It was compiled uh, using a compiler that we wrote and then uh, the uh, executable code could run on, on a computer that we actually built or a computer that you actually built uh, throughout this course. So this is I think very very uh, satisfying. So this has been a demo of a Pong game. You're welcome to play uh, Pong uh, on your own, on your own computer, using uh, the CPU emulator, which uh, is uh, stored uh, in your Nanto Tetris uh, tools folder. And once again, I want to emphasize that as far as the assembler writer is concerned, all this story about Pong playing and so on, it's, you know, it's a very nice background story, but it has no relevance whatsoever to writing an assembler. An assembler could not care less if it has to translate uh, uh, 12 instructions or uh, 12,000 instructions. It's a computer program. It will process, you know, whatever file we give it to process and uh, and that's it.